Hi guys, welcome to next class of PNC. My name is Ray Prakash, and we'll discuss here the concept of unordered and ordered here. Okay. So in bits and pieces, I've discussed this kind of concept so many times in number system chapter in PNC also. Okay. So we'll try to collectively study together. So what is concept of uh, unordered and ordered? Fine. See for example, so whenever we say there are two variables, let's say A and B, right? So if there are two variables A and B, okay, so its ordered form will be 2 and its unordered form will be 1, right? So unordered basically means order is not important, right? So A comma B or B comma A both are same for unordered, right? And it uh, uh, ordered means basically A comma B will be counted as two ways, A comma B as well as B comma A. Similarly, if I write for three numbers A, B, C, so its ordered form will be how much? The total is six ways, right? So how do we write it? We write simply three factorial. So three factorial, that means six ways. So six ways are its ordered form, right? For example, what are the six ways here? A comma B comma C, then A comma C comma B, right? Then B comma C comma A. Like that, we can have six ways. But its unordered form is only one. Okay. So unordered is one in each case, A, B, C in any order, but its order will become six ways, three factorial. If there are three numbers here, quite simple, right? Means what I'm trying to form is like, there are three digits here. So like three variables here. At first place, we have three options. I can fill all A, B, C. At second place, I have two options. At third place, I have one option. So total, there are six ways of filling, uh, arranging it. So if there are A, B, C, there are six ways of arranging A, B, C, right? So similarly, if we have A, B, C, D here, if there are four variables, okay, so its unordered form will be what? A, B, C, D, okay. So its unordered form will be what? Only one, in any order, okay. But ordered will be what? It should be four factorial, that is 24 ways. So in 24 ways, I can arrange A, B, C, D in ordered form. A, B, C, D, A, B, D, C, A, D, C, B, B, C, D, like that, I can form 24 different ways, okay. Now we discussed this concept so many times, huh? But now how to use this in this questions, right? <coughs> how to use this in questions? Now let's understand this point here. Suppose I have a question here. In how many ways? Okay. In how many ways AT can be written as sum of two natural numbers. So in how many ways 80, 80 can be written as sum of two natural numbers? This is a question here, right? Just think of yourself, what could be that number? So if I try to, if I try to solve it, right, what could be that number actually? So once I'm trying to put 80 here, now tell me it's ordered or unordered. It should be unordered because variables are not defined. I discussed this so many times in number system also in PNC also, right? Variables is not defined. Okay. So when variables is not defined, variables, okay, variables not defined in the question, not defined in the question is the case of unordered solution unordered solution right that means i'm assuming variables myself in how many ways et can be written as sum of two natural numbers so i'll write okay let's say a plus let's say a plus b is equal to 80 so if a plus b is equal to 80 in how many ways i can write a plus b for 80 right that a and b are my assumed variables here right so i can't differentiate between 1 and 79 1 and 79 and 79 and 1 both are same ways for me right now okay so I have to find unordered solution for this. So how many unordered solution for this? So if you find, if try, trying to find the unordered here, still what is the answer? So out of that a plus b is equal to 80, huh? one case will be what? 40 comma 40. That case will be what? That case will be identical. Now leave this identical apart. What I am left with now? Like 1 comma 30, sorry, 1 comma 79. Huh, 79 comma 1. Right, like 
so that is how many pairs I can form. So basically how many pairs I can form starting from 1 to 79. Okay, so from 1 to 79, I can form 79 such pairs in that 1 is identical, 40, 40. Right? So remove that 40, 40. So what I am left with? It should be what? Total 1 to 79. Right, there are 79 solutions. 79 minus 1 divided by 2. Right. So 1 to 79 total there will be 79 solutions. Out of that 1 is identical. Okay. So it should be 79 minus 1 by 2. Total 39 unordered pairs I can form and I have to add that 1 also. Add that 1 for what? Identical. So what is the answer? The answer will become 40. Correct? Understand it, right? What I am trying to say is once I am writing a plus b is 80, so I can have so many forms, no? 1 comma 79, 2 comma 78 and it goes like till 79 comma 1. So we have total 79 pairs here, 79 solutions, right? But I directly can't divide by 2 because each is not occurring 2 times, right? This is occurring 2 times, this is occurring 2 times but 40 comma 40 is not occurring 2 times. That's identical pair, remove the identical case, 79 minus 1, now we are left with 78, now it's symmetry. In this 78 solutions, everything is occurring twice. Divide by 2, that's unordered and add 1. That becomes 40. What is this 1 for? This 1 is for that 40, 40 pair. This 1 is for that 40, 40 pair. Okay. So this is a funda behind unordered and order, right? Okay. Now similarly, if I write number of solutions, right? If I write in the same question, Number of positive integral solutions. Number of positive integral solutions for A plus B is equal to A T. Right. So now the question will change. Now we are, what we are looking is for? We are looking is for ordered solution now because variables are defined in the question. Variables are defined in the question variables are defined in the question okay that's the case of ordered solution ordered solution that means question itself says that a and b are two distinct variables two distinct integers that is defined in the question only right so that means values of a and b will change the number of solution here okay so if a plus b is equal to 80, how many solutions we'll have? So same thing, a plus b is equal to 80. So we'll have like 179, 278, like that till 79 comma 1, right? So we'll count everything here, I think, right? How many ordered way? Total 79 solutions. 79 solutions is the answer. If you have to find ordered solution for it. I hope it is clear, right? Any doubt in this? I don't think. Now, if I move to like, suppose I move to product also, yeah, no? so let's move to product now. If I say, in how many ways 288 can be written as Product of two integers. Product of two, let's say factors. So factors is automatically, I am excluding uh, negative numbers, right? Because factors are always natural numbers here. So it's basically that in this case, I have assumed that A and B are my two variables and A into B is equal to 288, right? This is my assumption here. A and B are my assumption here, right? Okay. And then, if a into b is 288, so how many factors of 288? What is 288 actually? So 2 raised to 5 into 3 square, right? So 2 raised to 5 into 3 square. How many factors for it? 6 into 3, total we have 18 factors of it, right? So we will discuss this thing then factors, no? Right? If there are 18 factors here, there are 18 ways of writing like this. 1 into 288, 288 into 1. 2 into 144, 144 into 2, right? Like this, we can write in how many ways total? 18 ways. Because if there are 18 factors, 
there are 18 ways of writing like this. Number of factors is equal to number of ways, right? We discuss these things in numbers factors. So if 18 factors, there are 18 ways of writing actually, right? So out of this 18 ways of writing, what I want is unordered because it's ordered, no? We are counting 1, 288 also and 288, 1 also. It's like A, B and B, comma. both are, both are, I'm counting. So if I'm counting both, so how many ways are there? 18 ways. So we'll have 18 by 2, we'll have 9 unordered solutions. 9 unordered solution. Clear? Right. So we have 9. And if it was ordered, if it was ordered then? Ordered means what? So if it was ordered, it was in 18 solutions only. Right. So ordered solutions is equal to 18. Okay, for this this question, right? Now, little bit things will change if I change the question. Understand these, these things very carefully, right? Little bit things will change here if I write number of integral solutions for A into B is equal to 288. Correct. Now, understand this very carefully, right? So, if A into B is equal to 288 when I am saying and I am watching for integral solutions now. So, what do you mean by integral solutions here? So, integral solution means A and B can be positive as well as negative integers, right? I am not written factors here, correct? So, it A and B are positive or negative integers now. So, what will happen now? Again, same thing, I think, okay, 288 is basically 2 raised to 5 into 3 is square. So, total we have uh, 6 into 3, 18 factors. So once we have 18 factors for it, there are 18, 18 ways of writing, it has product of two integers, right? So 18 ways of writing, 18 factors means 18 ways of writing as product of two integers. 18 ways means what? 9 unordered because in those 18 ways, both ways are counted. 2 into 144 as well as 144 into 2. So we'll divide by 2 to get 9 unordered. Once you get 9 unordered, what do you mean by 9 unordered now? What are those cases? These cases are like? If I write it as A into B, so if A into B is 288, in this case, 1 and 288, right? Then 2 and 144. Then like this, uh, 3 and 96. So these are my total 9 ways of writing. Okay, these are my 9 ways of writing, right? Now, if these are my 9 ways of writing, so if you look at this one case here, so how many pairs so we can value we can have for A comma B? So A comma B we can be what? 1 comma 288 fine because it is variables are defining the question now A and B so 288 comma 1 also we have to count for variables defined means we have to find unordered solution sorry ordered solutions we have to find ordered solution because variables are defined in the question so ordered solution 288 comma 1 but now it is integral solution can be negative also right so minus 288 comma minus 1 as well as minus 1 comma minus 288 so all four has to be taken into account, right? So for one way, right? So nine unordered ways, that means for one way, we have four solutions, right? So for one way, we have four solutions. So therefore for total nine ways, right? Nine unordered ways. We'll have how many solutions? We'll have 36 solutions. This is the answer for this, answer for this question, 36 solutions, right? What the funda? The funda of ordered and unordered, right? Okay. Now understand little bit, uh, we'll take it to higher level now. Okay. If we have a question here, in how many ways, in how many ways, 40 can be written as sum of three natural numbers. 40 can be written as sum of three natural numbers three natural numbers in how many ways 40 can be written as sum of three natural numbers right so if it is in how many ways if you're looking for uh, unordered here right because how many ways variables are not defined in the question that means i'm looking for unordered solution it is not given in the question but i am deriving that it is unordered because it is how many ways right so we have done this question earlier also, right? Now understand the meaning here. If I write a plus b plus c is equal to 40 and we can find three natural numbers, that means let's say a, b, c all are greater than 1, greater than 1, greater than 1. 
So how many solutions for this? 40 minus 1, 37 plus 2, 39 C2. So we will have total 39 C2 solutions. But I have explained this earlier also. This 39 C2 solutions is actually ordered solutions. Right? It is ordered solution. Right? If you take the value, that means every, like, if there is a term here, understand this concept, right? Is there a term here? A plus B plus C is equal to 40. Right? Is there a term here? Like 2, 3 and 35 is a term here. So in this 39 C2, 2, 3 and 35 are counted in 6 ways. Right? That means 2, comma, 3, comma, 35 or 3, comma, 2, comma, 35 or 35, comma, 2, comma, 3. Like that, they are counted in total 6 ways. 3 things can be arranged in 3 factorial. It is 6 ways. So whenever we write this directly in terms of integral solutions here, right? I've discussed this S2D starting also when I started at S2D distribution, similar to different, right? They also discussed this thing that when we write directly as 39C2, huh? because I, I, I showed you at that time, I made cases here for it, like 1, 1, 38, 2, 3, 37, for different number, I made those cases. And after all those arrangements, I got the answer as 39C2 or whatever it, in terms of this C here. Right. So in terms of NCR, when we get this answer, it is what? Remember it. It is ordered solution always. Right. So 2, 3, 35 counted in 6 ways. Cases like 1, 1 and 38. They are counted in how many ways? They are counted in 3 ways. That is 3 factorial by 2 because 2 are repeating now. Okay. So these kind of cases are included in what? 39C2. Okay. Once this kind of cases are included in 39C2, so what the thing which I was doing earlier. Okay. The thing which I was doing earlier, same thing I cannot do right now. Okay, same thing I cannot do right now. What was doing earlier? There is simply, if it was two integers, right, in case of two integers, what happened simply? If a plus b was equal to 40, so it was case of 20, 20, only one identical case. I removed that one case and all I can simply divide by 2, right? But in this case, I can't simply divide by 3 or 6 because We'll have six ways here where three ways are so many ways of counting, right? But obviously, but obviously, these kind of numbers will be much more, and this kind of numbers will be much less, much less, right? That means, to understand it, that means, once I write this, so the logic is here that from total 39 C2 solutions, so this 39 to C2 contains the cases of. A, B, C kind of cases. What is A, B, C kind of cases? All three are distinct numbers like 2, 3, 35. Like 1, 2, 37. So like this all A, B, C cases. Okay. And all A, B, C cases are, are therefore are there for 6 times. Right, all ABC cases are repeating for 6 times, like 2, 3, 35, repeating for 6 times, 1, 2, 37, repeating for 6 times, right. And then we have this AAB kind of case, AAB kind of case. Whenever we have this AAB kind of case, what is AAB kind of case here? 1, 1, 38 kind of case, okay, 2, 2, 36 kind of case. So all these cases here are written, how many times? So all AAB cases, all AAB cases are here for three times each. I should write each actually to be more clear. Here also each. Six times each and three times each. Right. So all ABC cases are written here six times. All AAB cases are written here one time. Understand the logic, right? So what I need to do here? I have to remove these cases from here. Right. Because I want what in unordered solutions, in my unordered solutions, what I want? Each ABC case to be only there for one time. And each AAB case is there only for one time. This I want, right? So logic for this is what I what I need to do here. From total cases, okay. From total 39 C2 cases, okay. From total, I will remove all the cases of the form. I will remove all the cases of the form AAB. Correct? I will remove all the cases of the form AAB. Then I will remove all the cases of the form AAA. But obviously, since the sum is 40 here, the cases is not A, A, A. Means all three, A, A means what? All three numbers are equal. So if all three are to be equal, so if all three are to be equal, this number has to be a multiple of three, 
right? But 40 is not a multiple of 3. 40 is not a multiple of 3. That means A, A, A case will be 0. So out of total 39 C2 cases, which contains A, B, C, all A, B, C cases written 6 times each, all A, A, B cases written 3 times each, remove all the A, A, B cases, remove all the A, A, A cases. Now what is left? Now just think to your mind, right? Visualize this. What is left? Total 39 C2 cases, what is left now? After removing A, A, B cases and after removing A, A, A cases, what is left now? We are only left with A, B, C cases, right? Each case is written 6 times. Like 2, 3, 35 is written 6 times. 2, 3, 35, 2, 35, 3, 35, 2, uh, 2, 3, like that, huh? Or the cases like 5, 10, 5 plus 10 plus uh, 25. So, all these cases are written 6 times. But I want all cases to be only occurring one time. So what I'll do? I'll simply divide it by 6. I'll simply divide it by 6. Right? That means what, what is the case left now? Now, at this situation, what do you have done now? We are left with all ABC cases 6 times. Each case was written 6 times divided by 6. Now all ABC case. Now all ABC cases are occurring only one time each. This is what I, what I wanted. But this is not the solution because in my solution 1138 kind of case right or AAB kind of case I have to count once right. So why I subtract it? Because I subtract it for symmetry. I Initially I couldn't divide for 6. I couldn't divide by 6 right because some cases appearing 6 times, some cases appearing 3 times right. So I removed all the extra cases of the AAB kind of cases, AAA kind of cases right. All occurring now we have left with only ABC cases which is occurring 6 times. Divide by 6. Now all ABC cases counted only one time. Now add back the cases of AAB. Add back the cases of AAB but each only one time. Add back the cases of AAB. Add back the cases of AAB. Each only one time. Each only one time. Because I will not care because if you, if you arrange it, its ordered will be three times. Factorial 3 by factorial 2. Like 1138, 138, 1, 38, 1, 1. But I want that to be only one time because it is, because it is unordered solution, right? So AAB. AAB means what? I'll add back all the cases of A, A, B and then if any, I'll add the cases of A, A, A also. That is only also on one time. This is the pure logic behind this, right? So, each one time. So, now all here in this part, all A, B, C cases are occurring only one time. In this part, all A, A, B cases are occurring only one time and then only one time, right? So, nothing is getting repeated now. So, this is my total solution. And there's a logic behind it, right? But well, it's quite simple now. I will just remove the add the cases of A, B. So how many times A, B will occur? So if A plus B plus C is equal to 40, how many cases cases of A, A, B will occur? Now you can tell me easily. Right. How many cases of A, B? It's like 1, 1, 38. 2, 2, 36 kind of case. How many cases? So it's like from 1, 2 till which point? 1, 2 till which point? 3, 4, 5, 6, till where? Right. 20, comma 20. Is it? Yeah. Till 20, comma 20, 0. Okay. So we'll have 20 such cases. We'll have 20 such cases. Correct. But the thing is that that A, B, C are natural numbers. That means I can't write 20 here. Okay, so what will be here? 19, comma, 19, comma, 2 will be the last one. So 1 to 19, how many solutions? 1 to 19, how many solutions? 19 solutions. 19 solutions. Each case will be counted 3 times. So what is my answer? 39C2 minus 19 solutions. Each case counted 3 times minus 19 into 3. Minus 0 because A because A, A, A case will be, will be how much? 0. Take it. Now you divide it by 6. Plus add back this, this, these 19 cases have to be counted 1. So add back this 19. A, A, A cases are 0. So add 0. This is the answer for this question. I hope you got it right. So this is the final way of finding unordered solution. Very, very important. Watch this video twice or thrice if you didn't understand. Right. And then 
Even if you half understand, go to the next video. We are continuing with the same question with some bigger number, right? And then we will try to look out the logic behind it. And once you understand it, it will help you a lot in finding the other cases also. Like similar to different, different to similar, right? You have to understand these things. Ordered, unordered is very, very, very important, right? So understand this is the answer, right? This is the answer for this question. I hope it is clear. Okay, move to the next video. Thank you.